story is hot off the presses and ready to be delivered. You should take a look at the front page. Oh yeah, I'm famous. These papers just need to be out the door before, oh no. My editor will be here in just a few minutes. Do you think you could help me deliver them? Leave it to me. me even with that silly alien of yours. Uh-oh. Now that's a weapon of mass construction. Get ready to rubble. Oh, my God. 
ready for battle. <laughs> crew. I bet if this happened in Strudelbeck City, everyone would have gotten a day off from school. Then I'd be a real hero. This'll come in handy. I know someone whose skills would be a good match for this. Hold tight! I guess you're hot to handle. Monsters now? I live for the flame. Feeling the heat. The food in Old Town is just delicious! Hey kiddo! I'm Carla Clams, the shopkeeper around these parts. I see you've got some coins you're just itching to spend. Take a look at my shop. I'm sure you'll find something to buy. Are you running <laughs> Oh, 
thank you. Stefan called me and told me a fine young man would be coming to help. That must be you. That's me, Ben Tennyson, here to help. Oh, good. There's some weird stuff going on in town. My dear friend Bunny called in a panic. Something about uh, monsters? Monsters? I can handle that. Oh, she's up at the ski lodge. Please hurry. I'm on it. Lots of good stuff. Nice. Hey, hey there. Marie told me you could use some help. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Bunny Hill, manager of the Icebox Lodge and retired professional skier. No way! But I'm not as young as I once was. My nephew is professional snowboard of Francois Lecoir. No way! Yes, yes, but listen. He was taken captive by strange monsters at the top of the mountain. I would go myself. But the ski lift is down. I can take care of that. No problem. The gate to the mountain is locked. Take this key card to get through. Please, hurry. Leave it to me, ma'am.
you could use some help. Oui, monsieur, I am trapped. Thank you for your help, monsieur. No problem. I'm your biggest fan. Ah, merci. But I'm afraid I twisted my ankle. Perhaps you could uh, get this ski lift running so I can head down and tell my auntie I am okay. The pieces must be hiding somewhere on this mountain.
me in, coach! They get this key lift right. The pieces must be. Monster! I see monsters! Get back! Excellent work, our son. I'm sure Aunt Bonnie would like to thank you herself. See you at the bottom. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, see, thank you, young man. I was worried sick about my poor nephew. No problem. I came to Iceberg to get to the bottom of the supernatural activity happening in Strudelbeck. Do you know anyone who might have some answers? Hmm. A boy with such serious questions should go see our fortune teller Astrid. Here, take this bracelet and tell her you're a friend. She'll give you a complimentary reading. Well, it's worth a try.
Here I go! Again! I've been expecting you. Uh, cool. I'm looking for answers. Aren't we all? I guess. There's this evil magician Hex, and he's up to something horrible that's causing chaos all over Strudelbeck. I need to know where he's hiding so I can stop him. Ah, yes. I see. The universe has sent a message for you. Follow the path of fire to the mouth with no tongue. There is what you seek. Huh? What does that mean? That is for you to discover. I am a messenger for the universe, not a translator. Penguin, what's up? Hey Ben, learn anything new about our spooky sorcerer? Maybe. A fortune teller gave me this strange riddle. She said, follow the path of fire to the mouth with no tongue. Any ideas? Hmm. According to my research, there's an old road where the people of Strudelbeck would light torches. Maybe check it out. Torches. Road. Got it. Good luck, Ben. And be careful. Monsters! Should I give him a head start?
monsters nearby. Should I give him a head start?
should tell Astrid what I found here. Destiny awaits on top of Spaghetti Mountain. Now that makes some sense. I've definitely seen that on my map. Thanks, Astrid.
kitty. Just wait. That was it? What a colossal catastrophe this has been. I'm going to head back to Astrid and give this last one a try. This will come in handy. I sense you may feel some frustration, but I must thank you for finding my lost kitty. I suppose it was my destiny you found, not yours. <laughs> um, the fate of all Strudelbeck is hanging in the balance here! Hmm, yes. I sense the universe has one final message for you. Perhaps it will be of use. I see numbers, too. Three, seven, and a horse of great length. Hold your horses. I'll take care of this. and ready to dish out the Diamond Head Special, a 24 karat beatdown. Just skating by. Don't slip up. to the universe must have attracted dark energy. Hopefully my fortune was worth your effort. 
Oh, come on. That fortune was ridiculous. A horse of great length? I think I'll just try finding Hex on my own. Gotcha! Wait a minute. A horse of great length. Astrid was talking about the Long Horse Inn. And the number 237? It must be a room number. I wonder what I'd find there. I should ask Marie. Come back, young man. Quick, I need to see what's in room 237. Why, I can't just let you into a guest's room. The gentleman staying there was very clear he expected total privacy. What did this gentleman look like? I'll admit he's a bit unconventional looking, but we don't judge guests at the Long Horse Inn. Did he seem magical? Well, I guess his growing hands and ability to float in midair could be considered magical qualities. Why didn't you tell me this before? That's Hex! I have to get into that room somehow. Something very weird is going on in Strudelback. Let me figure out where this map points. Penguin, what's up? Hey Ben, check your mission log. There are some new side missions available in this region. that I was unable to assist you in your noble mission. No, you were right, for once. Look what I found in room 237 at the Long Horse Inn. Ah, I told you. Never doubt the universe. It seems these lines converge at Landlock Castle. That would be an excellent place for this magician to get up to something evil. But what could it be? Oh, I'm getting another message. But it's... it's very fussy. I need something to hone my senses. Care to help? 
A hero's work is never done. I've hid some of my magical totems on nearby islands in case of fortune-telling emergencies. I bet those will help. I'll be back in a flash with those totems. <laughs> Not in. Take that. Getting by. Smooth sailing. Don't slip up. Time to ground some monsters! Take that! Alright! Just skating by! Flip up! Success is Wrath's middle name! Wrath is growing up big and strong! I'm sliding on in! Ah, 
Ah, yes. These will do nicely. The message is becoming clearer now. This magician you spoke of, I see him at the summit of Mount Iceberg right now, looking at some kind of crystal. He found the crystal! I have to stop him! Here, take this compass. It will lead you to the peak of Mount Iceberg. Hey! This is the compass Gwen read about on the tablet! The path is dangerous. Be cautious, Ben. Don't worry. This is Ben Ten you're talking to. Coming. nearby. Ouch! <laughs> 
that! See monsters. Should I give him a head start? you chilly up here in your shorts? Freeze, Hex! Drop that crystal! The only one who will be freezing is you, Ben!
baddies up ahead. Pow! They didn't stand a chance. Your weakness is becoming crystal clear, Rock Face. Over there! got cold feet and wouldn't fight me himself. He must know he's on thin ice. This'll come in handy. Quinn, Hex has all four of the crystals. He must be headed for the castle now. Uh-oh. Head back to the campsite and we'll figure something out. We won't let him win, Ben. On my way. 